Hello, thank you for joining me here today. My name is Jenny Rich. I'm your Epicure Consultant and I'm here to bring you good food real fast this morning. We are going to make cheddar jalapeno cornbread muffins and one of my favorite breakfasts, egg and avocado, and instead of on toast, we're gonna to use cornbread muffins. We're gonna use our omelet maker today and we are going to use the muffin maker as well. I'm gonna show you cornbread muffins in the microwave in 2.5 minutes. So I already have my cornbread mix made. The reason I did that is because with gluten-free baking, specifically with baking, it's best to make it so that it can sit for at least 10 minutes before you make it, and then it's less dense, tense uh, to have not have that gritty uh, taste going on with it. Um, and it's just, you know, has a better consistency. So this is what we're making right now. It's the cheddar jalapeno cornbread. I am going to put this in my muffin pan and I did grease my muffin pan with a little bit of butter. Um, you can use butter or you can use oil and you don't have to grease it. They do pop out a little bit better if you do, but you don't have to. Um, you just want to make sure with our silicone, any of our silicone products that you don't use any cooking spray because the chemical propellants in the spray will actually uh, ruin the silicone. So we have our cornbread in our muffin maker. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave. And while that's in the microwave, we're gonna get the next part of our breakfast ready to go. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our eggs ready. We're going to use our omelet maker today, except instead of making an omelet, I am going to make two eggs that are um, hard yolks. I don't need to grease this one because they slide out really nicely. I need one myself. All right. So we've got our eggs, two eggs. I'm going to season it with my very favorite seasoning. This is SPG salt, pepper, garlic, and then it also has some herbs in it as well. And you don't need a whole lot because it's got really great flavor. I made an egg omelet too. You can. So these are so easy to use. Charlotte is seven. She is my, she is my sousie actually in the kitchen. She is my sauce maker. She loves to make the sauces. She's very good at it and uh, tells me if it tastes good. And she can also make eggs as well. So as soon as... And mac and cheese. And mac and cheese, yep. Yeah. And as soon as our muffins are done, we'll put this in the microwave. <clears throat> and in the meantime, we'll get some of the rest of our products ready mm -hmm. for today. So like the next thing sauce. I'm going to make is, yes, Charlotte says, a sauce. We're going to make feisty green sauce. So we're going to take this as one of our brand new products in our summer catalog, the feisty green sauce. It has a hint of jalapeno, so it has a fun little kick, but it also has Parmesan in it, guys, so it is so much fun. I already have some of our ingredients measured out in our one cup like prep the, bowls. The water and the, and what's it called again? Mayonnaise. And the mint. So I'm using mayonnaise today. I like to use light mayonnaise and water. Um, oh, oh. Yeah. And so we just open this up, and this calls for about a tablespoon of mix. So we're going to use, yep, our four-in-one, nope, the big one. We're going to use our four-in-one spice spoon today to measure out a tablespoon of the feisty green sauce. That's that's good. That's plenty. And a lot of times with that, you don't need more, okay? A lot of times with our Epicure seasonings, less is more. It has such great flavor. And on a table size. The, the, the things, all, the, no matter what, if you can't get them in, there's always a way to get them in. It's not like you can't, like all the other cheese buns are round and the cups are round, so it's got to be hard to get them in, especially the big and the small. Exactly. All of our jars are specially designed to make sure that our four-in-one spice spoon will fit in it and you it never have to worry big. about trying to get one of those round measuring spoons in your jars. 
So here's our muffins in two and a half minutes, guys, in the microwave. Amazing and beautiful. We're gonna set those there to cool. So what else do we need to put in this? Do you remember? Lemon. Lime. So we're gonna cut our lime up. <laughs> And then we're going to use our two-in-one citrus press to squeeze the lime into our sauce. When you're cutting it, make sure it doesn't squirt it. Like oh, yes. squirt out. It hurts your eyes just like lemons. So this is our Prep Pro <laughs> Chef Knife. It is made out of ceramic instead of steel, so it's not going to rust. And we don't need to sharpen it. It has a two-year sharp guarantee. We're going to put this in our lime. Okay, go ahead. Yep. <laughs> our egg is almost done. Um, our egg only needs to go in for one minute and 15 seconds, guys. Isn't that the most amazing thing? Look what I'm doing. Yep. Are you squeezing it? You're using your blanket to squeeze it in? Okay. I think we're pretty good. Okay, I'm going to get our egg. And then we're going to whisk up our sauce here. Charlotte's going to whisk for us, and while she is whisking, we're going to get our avocado ready. For what? Because I like avocado on my eggs. Avocado is delicious. So I'm going to taste this one bit when Sam comes to me. Okay, you're going to taste it for us? I'm the taste tester. You're the taste tester, yes. I'm not. How is it? Too much sour. Too much sour? Do you need to add a little bit more seasoning? Mm hmm Okay. I knew there was too much All sour. All right. <laughs> Our three-in-one spatula is a really great price point, right around $10. And it is so wonderful to help get avocados out of their skin. They're just... Yep. They come out so nicely, don't they? Yep. All right, so we'll use our knife. We're going to cut up our avocado, and we're going to get everything put on our plate. You need this? Okay. I'll just do a little. Okay, you're going to do just a little of that. I'll do this one. So Charlotte, Charlotte has a really good flavor palette for sauces. She's so good at making our sauces. Okay, you got I, that? I can tell if there's too much lemon because if I put too much lemon in it, I can taste it. We're going to move a couple things out of the way here so we can see better. All right, so now we have our cornbread muffins, and they're still a little bit warm. I usually like to let them cool a little bit more, but I'm hungry. Look at how beautiful that popped out, just like that. So mom, now we have it here on our plate. My mom is going to have to save two for my, my, my um, swimming lesson teacher because I'm going to give them to her. All right. So we've got that set out just like that. Now we're gonna take our egg. See how beautiful our egg is, all steamed nicely. Again, I didn't add any water. I just steamed it using the moisture that was already there in that egg. It's good. It's good now? Mm -hmm. Awesome, and we're just gonna lay this out. We're gonna lay this out over top. <laughs> of our like cornbread muffin now. So we've got our beautiful eggs. Wait, wait, wait. No. It's okay. <laughs> and then we're gonna lay our avocado out on top. Can you put a little bit more water in that, please? It's a little bit too thick, not saucy enough. Not saucy? Not saucy enough. Okay. Yep, add a little bit more water, please. Get the water. Okay, you get the water, and then I'm going to show you. Normally, I before this came out, the Sesame Crunch. This is our June customer appreciation product, so it is only available in June, also under ten dollars. So really great price points. And uh, normally, I use the Everything Bagel. Everything Bagel is amazing. It's my probably my second favorite, next to SPG, to use on almost everything. That's my favorite one too. But when the sesame crunch came out. I started using this a little bit more, so I'm just going to sprinkle some sesame crunch on top. Got a little much. And then Charlotte is going to get our 
seasoning or our sauce over here for us. I got too much water. That's okay. Bring it on over and we'll put some on top. Now I add too much water. Okay, just bring it over, please. It's fun to have helpers in the kitchen. Charlotte and my older daughter Lily have spent uh, the last year and a half while I've been with Epic here really learning more fun tips and tricks in the kitchen. Um, and they've been learning how to make healthier food choices. Like to not eat candy every day. Yes, Charlotte is my fruit eater. I like eating a lot of fruit. All right, so we are just gonna drizzle a little bit of the sauce on top here. Because fruit is, healthy. A little bit thinner. fruit is healthy for you, so it's going to be better to eat it. And right. sometimes um, Epicure can be really bad because fast food is not really... Like Epicure is good because fast yeah. food is not good for us. That's what yeah. she was trying to say. All right, guys, there is our breakfast. It was right around 10 minutes um, when I am not talking so much and making it myself. Usually I can make this meal, especially if the cornbread is already done. I can make this meal in under five minutes, guys. Mommy it's always, the best, fastest breakfast. Mommy always talks too much. Yes, thank you. But this time she did. Thank you so very much for joining me this morning. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, I look forward to talking to you more about Epicure. Please join me for any more of uh, my lives or my recordings. Um, follow me on YouTube and in my Recipe Club Epic Wellness with Jamie. Blessings to you. We'll see you soon. What are those again?